So what we're doing right now is the Silfirm X uh, on Stephanie here for lower face and neck tightening. Uh, it's really been a great addition to the team here at, uh, at Westside to have something that's less downtime than profound, but still gets really good results with enough treatments. Uh, and we've really been getting some pretty fantastic results with it. Uh, basically it's radio frequency combined with microneedling. So you have the needles that are injected into this, the tissues that um, cause a mechanical injury to the tissue that promotes uh, neocollagenesis, uh, rebuilding healthy or unhealthy tissues, and just making the skin better overall. And then with the radio frequency added in, you also get a thermal injury that just tightens all the elastin and collagen that's in the skin, and it really compounds the effects of the microneedling itself. So the combination of microneedling and radio frequency has been around for a long time, but the Silfirm is is really different in just how versatile it is and how many different ways you can adjust it to achieve different things. It's the first RF microneedling device that you can use for um, pigmentation issues, vascular irregularities, like the little teeny tiny red blood vessels you sometimes get on the face, like around the nose, also called telangiectasias. So by adjusting the settings, you can adjust the depth, you can adjust the power, you can adjust the wavelength, uh, and really get a lot of a lot of benefits from this one treatment. As you can tell, it's a pretty painless procedure. All we need is topical numbing for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, if a patient's too uncomfortable, that's where kind of the adjustment of the uh, of the power level comes in. How's this for you? Really easy, comfortable. Procedure post care is pretty straightforward and pretty in line with anything uh, else you might have laser wise. Uh, you want to stay out of the sun for a couple weeks. Um, most people don't really peel a whole lot or flake like they do with other like resurfacing lasers, things like that. There might be a little bit of pinpoint bleeding that you kind of got to clean up afterwards, uh, but otherwise the patient can just expect to be a little swollen for a day or so, but nothing too crazy. Maybe a, a little pink, especially if you get their full face done. Um, but otherwise, downtime is really not bad at all with this procedure, which is why so many of our patients have been loving it so much, because uh, you can come in and get this really amazing treatment and only really have a day or two of a little bit of swelling, um, but it's nothing crazy, so that's been that's been great. Continuing to have, you know, follow a good skincare routine, uh, staying on top of everything else that you're supposed to stay on top of, uh, using good skincare products, things like that, and that's about it.